and if you want to take a tip use a Dorito as a spoon because that just about finishes it off perfectly A nice little chilli recipe that we're going to do now. Now, I don't like kidney beans. Um, I can eat them, but they're not a, a preferred choice. So what I do in this is I put baked beans in, which actually thickens the chilli. And I also put uh, sweet corn in, which is a, a nice little touch. And that's along with peppers and uh, tomatoes and lots and lots of uh, seasoning. Right, let's go through everything now. Okay, so we're going to use a slow cooker and I'll go through the ingredients. We've got onions, pepper, um, one tin of sweet corn, two tins of baked beans, two tins of chopped tomatoes. I'm also going to use a beef stock. I put some paprika in, some ground cumin, pepper. Uh, this is a nice little touch, blackened Cajun seasoning. I'm going to put some granules of garlic in. There's the chilli powder that we're going to use and uh, most of all, I'm going to put some season oil in there. For the onions, you're talking uh, four or five small onions or two large onions. And just uh, chop them up. I'm not going to fry the onions. They're going to go into the slow cooker without being fried. So there's a bit of crunch to them when you're actually eating it. Okay, so that's the onions done. Now we'll do the peppers. Just cut the core out. The fat out. Cut through them, get rid of, get rid of that. white let's cut that out and last but not least the red just put them into uh, bite sized chunks right so that's the peppers and the onions done Right now I've got a, a kilo of minced beef there and we just need to put some oil in because we're going to brown this. So let's get that oil heated. All right, so we'll get the minced meat and just uh, break it up as we're putting it in. Just so it's not in chunks when it's browning. And this is basically just to seal in the flavour into the meat. It'll just take a, a few minutes to brown. And while that's cooking, what we'll do is we'll put the onions and, um, and peppers into the slow cooker. And we'll start to add the spices uh, along with the chopped tomatoes and beans, etc. Right, you can put these in in any order. What you need to do though with the sweet corn is just drain that down the sink. You don't want too much liquid in there. Put the baked beans, get those popping in. So that's one tin of baked beans and I'm going to put one tin of tomatoes in and then we'll start putting in the spices. For a bed for the spices to sit on. Right, let's start working through them. So if I get, um, so this is Costco's own granulated garlic. If I get that, there's no measuring on that, just probably about two tablespoons in there. Again, Costco's own pepper. Now I'm just going to put into the 
about, uh, about half a teaspoon. Paprika, I've just started putting paprika in, so I don't put much in. Just a, a teaspoon of that. But the cumin, the cumin is lovely. So for that, we're going to put in uh, about, about two and a half teaspoons. One, nice heaped ones, about two and a half cumin. This is a magic portion. Uh, this goes with anything. I sprinkle it directly onto food as well when I'm eating it. Um, it's just delicious. We'll just put a, a teaspoon of that in. And then last but not least, uh, any chilli powder. This is quite a mild chilli powder. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of this in. Uh, just be careful, depending on the strength of your chilli powder, depends uh, how, mu how much you're going to put in. So one and two. Put a bit more in actually. Three. And then what we'll do is we'll put the meat in. I'll put the... Uh, I'll put the remainder of the tomatoes, beans and sweet corn over the top. Then I'll put the oxo cube in, the beef extract. And we'll be going. That's nearly ready that now. Just put the sweet corn in. Right, we'll pop that in. So that's in there. Turn the gas off. Right. The remainder of the beans and the tomatoes. Give it a stir. And we'll put the beef stock in now as well, which just helps it all start to mix together. So I'm only going to do 400 ml of beef stock. So this is just OXO, just crumble it in. Put some hot water in it. As I said, that's just 400 ml. And that, is going to be perfection. I've actually forgotten the most important ingredient for me, which is the seasonal. Right, now I tend to find that it's about two teaspoons. But what I'll do is, in about six hours time, I'll uh, test it. You can always add, but you can't take away. So really important that. Right now, as far as the slow cooker goes, we switch it on and we'll have it on low heat for eight hours. Right, and that's it. Don't touch it again, except I'll come back to it a couple of times and stir it. So this is about three hours in. You can see it's starting to, uh, starting to look delicious actually. Uh, you'll see later on that it looks so mouth-watering when it's finished. But we'll give it a bit of a stir and then we'll come back to it later. 55 minutes to go. And it's really coming together. So let's have a taste and see whether or not it needs more of the seasonal. Right, very spicy but not quite salty enough so I've just put another one and a half teaspoons of season all in just to get that salt in give it a stir up perfect absolutely perfect right so I'm going to put the lid on that 
and um, the one recommendation that I'm going to give you is so this has been cooking for eight hours I'm going to leave it overnight when it's finished and we'll have it tomorrow night and that that 24 hours of just standing it just allows the flavors to uh, to mature and it, it's not as sharp it's more flavorsome the the other thing is that will give a family of four at least three evening meals worth of, uh, of chili so you can either have it three consecutive nights it'll last a week in the fridge at least or you can freeze it entirely up to you right so that's it all done and dusted as i say you've got um four meals for at least three nights there and it is absolutely delicious make sure you put enough of that herb that seasoning and that salt in just to give it the flavor and if you want to take a tip use a dorito as a spoon because that just about finishes it off perfectly